Hey guys, welcome back to another Nexus Core video. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the Messiah Stride deck set. Before we get into the unboxing, I real quick just wanted to talk about the giveaway we're gonna be doing for DBT10. So if you haven't checked it already, check out the DBT unboxing video. If that video can get 200 likes, we're gonna be doing a giveaway, so check that out. I also wanna go ahead and thank our sponsor for today's video, which is 50cards.shop. So if you haven't checked out 50 cards yet, they have all the playset splits, all the bundles, all the singles, all the sleeves, everything you need for Vanguard. And with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right into the unboxing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be unboxing the uh, Messiah Stride deck set. This is the premium edition of this box. So this is the uh, more expensive version. It comes with uh, this nice little case for storing all your cards, which is really nice. The artwork on this is beautiful. So it comes with Alter Ego Messiah, Exilix Messiah, and it's gonna have a mat, a box, the deck. It's pretty much gonna have most, mostly what you need for starting up with Vanguard. And it's a really, really strong competitive deck as well. This is actually another really exciting product alongside the Chrono Jet set. So just go ahead and uh, get this apart. Give this a little flip, flip this over. So in the contents, we already see we got our, got our deck box. It's kind of interesting colors there. They're a little washed. If, I, if I'm gonna be completely honest, the colors on this are not nearly as vibrant in person. They might show up a little bit more vibrant in color, in color on the video, but in person, I'm, it's a little underwhelming, but it's, it's still a nice box. It's like kind of like a faux leather thing going on here. Still a really nice box. Then we got the deck, which is kind of got shimmied out of place. This thing has kind of been tossed around, uh, if I'm quite honest, but it looks like this was supposed to go here. I don't know where the deck was supposed to go. So this kind of got, just got tossed, but this is the deck. Still looks like it's in pretty good condition. So there's, there's, there's a good sign. We got our little tokens. So these are like the little custom stickers you can make. Uh, Got the 13K base, show your Vanguard's at 13, your plus twos, your plus 20s. You, you got all the markers, your 1K for your Dread Jeweled matchup, Interceptors, Boosters, 100 million <laughs> Persona Ride, even though you're not gonna be Persona Riding with this deck. Um, but these are a lot of really cool, fun markers for the deck as well. So, you know, that's nice. And then we got our top loaders, our custom top loaders. These have the um, Messiah Ride line, and I'm just gonna pop this open. So the first one is the Link Joker symbol, Alter Ego. You can kind of see it a little better on this one. I'm actually just gonna flip this around then we can see it this way. So we got Neon Messiah, that looks better. A Sleep Messiah, Awakening Messiah, or Waking Messiah, and Alter Ego Messiah. So just little top loaders if you wanna put cards in them, if you want to. So little collector's items. And the play mat. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take a moment, kind of clear out the space and make it a little bit easier to set up so you can kind of go into everything in detail. All right, now doesn't that look clean? We got the Alter Ego mat all set up. So it's a pretty decent sized mat. Kind of zoom out just a little bit so you can kind of see. It's, uh, it's about the same size as most of your traditional like 14, what is it like? 14 inches by 22, something like that. I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's a good size mat for gameplay. So it's it's nice and it's a little, like a little leather, some rubber on the back. It's not stitched, but you know, that's up to your preference, but this is still a really nice mat. So I'm gonna get into the other contents real quick before jumping into the deck real quick. So I'm just kind of show the deck box, get that plastic off. So that's the Alter Ego deck box. Pretty sure this is gonna hold everything perfectly for your main deck and your G zone. Um, sleeved, of course. I don't know if it's gonna fit double sleeve. It looks like it should fit double sleeved. So I happen to have my Bastion deck heavy. This is technically double sleeved um, just because I got my two sleeves, set of sleeves in there. And that's that's a lot of room actually. So you could definitely fit a double sleeve deck 
including your G-Zone in this, which is really, really nice. So for all my uh, character sleeve enjoyers, your character sleeves will be safe in this box with their double sleeves. This is a really great box to use if you're a new player or if you're a longtime Messiah fan. This is just a great product. You get your mat and your box. Going into the deck, got our main contents right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and unbox that real quick, get that open. All right, doing a little bit of a zoom. Slide the little plastic PC out and got our deck right here. I'm just gonna kinda see if we can fan through it. Get the G-Zone out real quick. Put that off to the side, we'll get to that in a bit. And we're just gonna kinda start off with the main deck, which starts off with your four foiled Alter Ego Messiahs. It's, this whole deck comes foiled out, so if you get the premium version, all the main cards or the normal units in the deck will come foiled, which is really, really nice. So one is goes in your right deck and the other three can go in your main deck for stride fodder because you have to discard a grade three Messiah to stride an XLX. Then we got our grade two. Uh, we only get one of each for the zero, one, and two, because it's just for the ride deck. We've got Awakening Messiah, um, which can call itself out and lets you soul charge whenever um, whenever it's placed. And if it's unlocked, you can choose another unit, St. Kong, give it 10K. The Asleep Messiah, which just gives you your crest so that you can you know do your Messiah things. And your Neo Messiah, which is just like your normal D standard starter. Real quick, I did want to mention that this <laughs> is the exact same alter ego from the original G era. It's got the 11K base, grade three, does not have Persona Ride. It's the exact same skill, the GB2 and the Stride skill. So it's just like Chrono Jet. It's the same original card from the G trial deck back in like 2015, I think. All right, so we're going to get into the rest of the main deck. Uh, let's see. Got three copies of, what's your name? Astro, La Astro La Labe Dragon, not instead of Astro Blade. Astro Blade Dragon GB2. During your turn, if any player has a locked card, this gets 10K. When this card is discarded from hand for the cost of stride, you can draw a card. So it's similar to Bali from the Chrono Jet deck. We got four copies of Kaluser Klein? Kaluser Klein. Uh, during your turn, any player's a lock card gets 5k. And at the end of the battle, this attack, if you have an alter ego crest, which you will, retire this unit, look at the top three cards of your deck, choose at the one card grade equal to or less than your vanguard, put it on an open rear is locked, and put the rest at the bottom of your deck. So it's just to kind of help you filter through your deck, which is really cool. Then for grade twos, continuing Arrestor Messiah is a playset. So GB1, when this attacks, if you have a Vanguard of Messiah in it gets 5K, and at the end of the battle, you can lock this unit. That way we can unlock it with Am Amnesty and Exelix. So it's a free locker. It'll give some power in it too. That's it for the grade twos. Now we're doing the grade ones. Cosmo Reef is back. It's just like the, all the other DPGs. It's just when you put on the guard circle, you can choose when your units cannot be hit. If you have two or more cards in your hand, you have to discard a card from your hand for its cost. It, it's just fitting for the theme because Cosmo Wreath is back. It's the same way with Arlem. Speaking of cards coming back, Destiny Dealer is also back. I believe this is still a stride fodder. When you're paying the cost for stride, this counts as a discarded grade three, so it's the same. If you have an alter ego crest, discard this card, search your deck for up to one grade three with Messiah in its name, reveal and put in your hand uh, if you search for your deck. So this is basically to help you find your alter ego so that you can pay the cost for Exelix when you go into your stride cost because you have to discard specifically alter ego to stride into Exelix. Then we have four Sacrifice Messiah. Uh, this one is GB1. At the end of the battle, this boosted. If you have a Vanguard Messiah in its name, lock this unit, choose one of your Vanguard that gets 5K. And if you have no face up card in your damage zone, you can counter charge one. So counter charge is really nice and standard. We have four copies of her big, her air big, Claw. Its skill is if you have a Vanguard Messiah in its name, this gets 5k shield. And then when your other unit is unlocked, you may put this into your soul. This can work at the end phase when it unlocks itself and another card is unlocked. Since all the cards are unlocking at the same time, it sees and tr triggers that effect at the end of your turn. So you can actually move this to the soul, then use Alter Ego's GB2 to Soul Blast 1 and draw. So that they kind of go hand in hand to combo off so that you can still get the draw at the end phase if you ran out of soul. So this is a really good card. I know people like to run Mokani, but if you don't want to spend the money on the Mokanis and you just want to pick up, you know, these or use the cards that come in the deck set, these are great as well. So that's it for the main deck uh, for normal units, I should say. So now we're getting to the triggers. So unfortunately, the triggers do not come foiled. 
but you do get your Elder Breath Brant Gate over trigger, which is really cool. Then it's pretty much rainbow triggers, so it comes with eight crits. Uh, all the triggers are vanilla, unfortunately. So it comes with eight crits. It comes with three draws instead, you know, instead of four draws. Um, it's kind of up to your preference. I feel like the front triggers are, are actually better, but it does come with four fronts as well. And then it comes with your obvious four heals. So it comes with, you know, pretty, like I said, it's a rainbow trigger lineup. Um, and, you know, kind of gives you the option to kind of decide what you want to do with that. So if you want to decide to stick with your fronts or if you're going to do what everyone else is doing and ditch the fronts and put crits in, you have that option as well. Overall, this is actually still a really good trigger lineup since Exelix gives itself a crit. So there's not really a reason to feel pressured to pick up more triggers. So the front triggers are actually still really good for this deck. So now we're getting into the fun stuff, which is the G zone. So we're gonna start with the Amnesties. So Amnesty Messiah comes with four copies. The cards, oh gosh. Like, and the other thing I wanna mention is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can barely see the amount of drive checks this card gets. The foiling is just like, insane. So what this does, if I can read it, when this attacks, kind of plus one, turn a card from your G-Zone face up, choose any number of any player's lock cards and unlock them, choose one of your rear guards and it gets 5k until the end of the turn for each card unlocked by this ability. So it allows you to multi-attack because locked units unlock in the standing state. So cards that attacked are then are locked. When they unlock, you can attack with them again. So this is, you know, a way that Messiah's were you know really good in the past as well as just the the sheer amount of multi-attacking that they could do thanks to the the unlocking abilities of amnesty and other cards so you get a full play set so that you can go into it as many times as you want basically and then it comes with four more copies uh oh, i'm sorry did i, did I say exelix before i meant to, I meant to say amnesty four more copies of exelix exelix has a similar condition to next stage where in order to stride it you have to discard a great three with messiah in its name gb2 when this unit attacks you can kind of blast one choose any number of any player's lock cards unlock them if you unlocked a card choose the same number of your rear guards as the number of cards unlocked stand them and at the end of the turn all your front row gets 10k and this gets a crit. So if you have back row units that boosted, that are rested, you can stand them and then that way they can boost as well. So this is like a big finisher for making your board huge and Exelix gaining a crit kind of puts more pressure on your opponent as well so that they have to perfect guard it or they're just eating a crit. Yeah, and this is also just really scary with the brand gate trigger as well because or over trigger as well because if you check it, that's four damage. We got our eight G units and last but not least, we got our crests. So this, the regular version comes with one crest. This one gives you two. One's like a little more foiled, which is cool. They're both foiled. It's, this one's just got the shatter foiling and this one's got like a lot more of like a glow effect to it. This is what the Asleep Messiah does is it allows you to gain this crest the minute you ride it. So what this crest does is it allows you to perform stride and you cannot ride a grade three or greater unless it has Messiah in its name. The continuous second continuous effect is the original power of your grade three cards with Messiah becomes 13K. So you're back at a 13K base because the alter ego base is 11. And the next skill is during your turn, if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard Messiah, all of your front row units get an additional 5k for each face-up card in your G-Zone. Right away after you swing with your Amnesty, your front row is just getting 10k after you do that skill. At the end of your turn, unlock all of your opponent's locked cards and you bind those units. So this is kind of to, because Alter Ego does allow you to lock your opponent's rear guard. Standard is trying to get away from the whole lock oppression. Forcing your opponent to have to bind it face up is doing them a favor. That way they can have that circle open. Standard players, you're you're getting to miss out on this one, on, on having your front row lock the whole game because Link, Link Joker just keeps locking your field. But uh, yeah, the crest is just really important for the power and then kind of also just making it fair for when your opponent's cards get locked. So you get two crests and you also get uh, an extra Astro Blade so you can have a full playset if you want. And it also comes with um, three more copies of Awakening Messiah so that you can run them in the main deck if you want to run more copies because it does have a rear guard skill essentially which is when this is unlocked you can choose one of your units in the same column and you can give it 10k so you might want to run more of this 
if you want to, they're just kind of giving you the option in the premium set to, you know, run more copies, which is really nice. So outside of the ride deck, we have more. So that was it for the contents of this box. It's a bunch of really, really shiny cards. They're all really, really fun to play with. This is a really strong competitive deck. We actually do have um, a few games we recorded recently of Justin using this deck um, and kind of showing how good it is in general. So stay tuned to seeing some uh, Messiah content in the near future. And with that being said, uh, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this unboxing. As a reminder, we are still doing that giveaway for the box of DBT10. So make sure you go ahead and check out the DB10 unboxing video to get details on how to participate in that. Again, thank you to 50 Cards for sponsoring us and providing all the, the best Vanguard products possible and the best shipping and just the best deals overall. As a reminder, you can use code Nexus to get 5% off when you're checking out and getting all your stuff. So keep that in mind. On top of the fact that the cards are already so cheap, you can get them even cheaper when you use our discount code. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.